Hallelujah to Jesus. All glory to God for the privilege and the opportunity to be once again on this channel, thebelievershealth.com. I'm glad that today God has brought us to reach out to you again regarding your health. Today, by the grace of God, I will be speaking on what I titled Your Light is Your Health. Your Light is Your Health. I pray that the Holy Spirit Himself will speak His word through me to you and that his word will come with power and might to transforming and renewing your heart for a better healthy living in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Your light is your health. By the grace of God, I have been into the sphere of health system right from childhood. My mom was a nurse. Many of our friends were nurses. All the women married into our family were nurses. This was the environment I grew up from. I've seen informally the confidences and the fears of the people that we look up to. However, by the grace of God, I'm also brought into the health sector to affecting you for better not just from the knowledge of the science of medicine but also but much more from the knowledge of the truth that truly guards our health i pray tonight that god himself will open our eyes of understanding so that we behold the riches of what God has prepared for us as believers for healthy living in Jesus' name. Amen. Permit me to say at this point in time that health challenges are not just recent issues. Like we can regard many of the technological changes that came up recently as responsible for the many challenges of men. But before these technological changes came, there had been health challenges. When we talk of dietary uh, errors today, eating of chemical foods, eating of um, synthetic drinks, taking of synthetic drinks, polluted atmosphere, inorganic product eating, so many things we talk about today. Yes, they are significantly uh, explaining why many things go wrong. But permit me to say with confidence that before these things actually went wrong, there had been challenges on health among men and something was responsible for those challenges. So it is wisdom for us to think deeper and to think more intently on what was or what were the things Aside these recent changes in technologies 
that were responsible for challenges from the beginning. I will say at this point that the bedrock behind every earth challenge is the devil. Spiritual manipulations. The Bible says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. It's not flesh and blood that are primary oppositions. But when we take health at the level of science, we are limited at the level of science to flesh and blood. And until we upscale our focus beyond the flesh and blood dimension of evaluating and uh, focusing on health, we may not get sustainable changes. That is the reason why tonight we are discussing the fact that the light in you is actually the health in you. Praise the living Jesus. Go with me. Go with me to the book of 1 John chapter 1 verse 5. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 it says arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. What is this light? We are talking about we can say one God is light when your light comes we can say God has come your light at every given point in time is the measure of the revelation of God that is in you and you cannot experience God much more than the measure of the revelation of God that is at work in you. This is a basic truth that even the devil knows and jealously uses against many believers. The devil knows that I, you, or anyone cannot experience God beyond the level of revelation of God he has caught. Therefore, the Bible speaking in the book of 2 Chronicles, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. It says, In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Take note, it was not blinded the eyes. When we talk of blind, we literally consider eyes being blinded. But the Bible says, the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest 
the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. It, the devil does everything possible to keep us off the access we have to the word of God. Before we catch light, we would definitely have had access to the word. It is the word we have accessed, meditated upon, revealed to us that becomes light in us. And I'm telling you the truth. When light comes, health comes. When light comes, joy comes. When light comes, strength comes. When light comes, healing comes. Because when light comes, God has come. Look at it. Matthew 5 verse 16 says, Let your light so shine before men. This let is pointing to the fact that it is not all depending on God. Letting means we have a way to permitting a reality. Letting means if a reality will be in existence, we have a measure of control on how it would be in existence. Let your light therefore shine before men. Permit your light to shine. The only confusion in the heart of man is fueled by ignorance and fear. Of course, fear comes from ignorance. When you are ignorant of a matter, or about a matter, the devil can easily manipulate your mind based on the level of your ignorance. But the Bible says, those who do know, those who do know they are God, they shall be strong and they will do exploits. If you are strong, it means you are healthy. If you are sick, you are weak. Strength is a function of the operations within us. The mentality of a believer at any point in time should be as fueled by the revelation of God. The revelation of God as it affects us regarding our earth at this point is the Father one he is the Lord that he let us. Two, with him, all things are possible. It may be impossible with science, with men, but there is no situation that you present to God and say, wow, this is much more than what I can address. No way. The picture in the pool of Bethesda alone is enough to tell us that if any ailment is brought to Christ as it was presented before the pool of Beth I mean at the pool of Bethesda if every element that enter with man into that pool is healed then much more is what we have access to right now in Christ through the redemption work perfected on the cross of Calvary the light of God in you is what gives you control over the manipulations, over the threats, over the 
seeming anxieties that the devil wants to impose on you because of whatever health challenge one may be going through. Don't forget that as a believer, the Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. We are permitted, it's possible, it's allowed to be afflicted. But the Bible says the Lord delivered them out of them all. I read a place in Isaiah that helps me a lot. That even the affliction that a righteous goes through is oftentimes a refining process, a remoting process, a, a means of you knowing the more about God. Because the Bible says, Peter, the devil sought to sift you. Jesus was speaking. But I have prayed for you that your faith faileth not. And remember, when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Many things we go through today that God allow us to go through today before we ever step into that challenge, he has already made a way of escape. And when we now got the escape in reality, we become equipped individuals to helping others. I myself have been challenged in my health and I've seen how the word of God works mighty things, excellent things to healing and to sustaining the health. I pray for you listening to me today that the grace of God to search his word, to meditate on his word, to catch the light and to live by the light of his word, the Lord will grant to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this, 2 Corinthians 4, 6. For God, who at, who, for God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness? God commanded light to shine out of darkness. So, maybe you are challenged today, we can relate that to a dark point. But from that point, as you sit and meditate on his word, on his testimonies, on his wonders, light is brought out of darkness. He said, "At shine in our hearts and give the light of the knowledge of his glory, of the glory of God. In the face of Jesus Christ. Light is commanded to come forth out of darkness. That state of earth challenge you have is a state of darkness. Agreed. But God has commanded light to come out of that form. And when light comes, you will rise and shine. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Please, I encourage you, go beyond scientific estimations open yourself to the word of god meditate on what god has said concerning your health and even though you are taking medication you are using right diet and so on very important the more important thing is your health is ruled by the meditations in your heart death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat the food thereof. Don't forget, out of the mouth, out of the earth, hmm? the mouth speaketh. If death and life is in the power of the tongue, and a man speaks from the abundance of the earth, it means that what happens in your heart, the meditations in your heart, in your mind, are the things that inform what you speak and what you speak will either lead to health or sickness death or life the lord will help us to construct wisdom from this and live elderly in jesus name amen god bless you as you meditate on this word and catch the light of his word in jesus name amen